Hello everyone, I'm Ellicott with Enodo Games. Welcome to this video, this Let's Play the Architect Paris video. And today we're going to show you a few tips, a few advice about how to play with the City of Lights. And the first thing you want to do is to select the block you want to work on. So um, let's select this one because it has a very regular shape and it's probably easier uh, to start with when you have a regular shape like this. So once the, the block is on the drawing board, you can start by demolishing everything and go to the plots editor. So you still have the plots here, the original plots, um, but we're going to merge everything together and the first thing most people do when they play the architect is this you draw a shape that looks like a building and you're gonna make a big tower right in the middle of Paris a stone throw away from the Louvre why do most people do this probably I suppose because you can and you don't have to feel guilty about it so let's add some floors here let's make a park around it there we go and now we have this nice looking tower and we can bring it directly into the city view and here it is and that's really believe me what most people do when they play for the first time at the architect so it looks good. You might feel guilty for building this. If you do, nothing's easier than resetting a block to its original shape. It takes a few secs and then you have it back to the same uh, old block. Now you might want to do something a bit different. So let's go back to the same block. Still going to open it in the drawing board we're still going to demolish everything and go to the plot editor merge but now we're going to draw something a bit different so we're going to use a function that is the free draw function so let's first draw something that looks a bit regular like here down there and then by pressing shift and click left click i can draw pretty much any kind of shape i want of course, you have a few rules to observe. You will find more info on that. And there, can go here and there. So here, I drew a first very kind of weird looking shape in the middle of this block. And then I can go to the builder, select the plot, and I can start to generate any kind of building here. And it will follow the lines that I drew. I can add floors. Once again, I can make a park around it. Or you know what? I can do something crazier. Let's select the park and make the negative shape of a building. So I'm going to use the same plot here as the park, but I'm going to make a building out of it. And now what I'm going to do is use the, the one inside it and make the park there. And I have something that actually looks like uh, some kind of an old farm, maybe a bit too high for a farm. So let's bring it down. See, it looks like a farm right in the middle of Paris. There's only the cows that are missing. And I'm sure that at one point we're going to find a way to put cows in there. Maybe not today, but it will come. So that looks kind of cool. I like it. So I'm going to build that. All right. And there it is right in the middle of Paris near the Seine River. I have this kind of funny looking country farm. All right, now, what if we want to do something that looks maybe a bit more like reality? So let's find another block. The one right behind here looks kind of cool because of the roof difference. So I'm going to bring this one into the drawing board. And this time, I'm not going to demolish everything. Um, I'm going to take time to go around this block and try to figure out what I want to do with it by observing. And something I'm going to do is to keep at least a few buildings as they are. So let's see, what do we have here? I like the ones with the, the tile roofs. 
So I'm going to, there's two here. I think there's one on the other side. So I'm going to keep these ones and I'm going to demolish all the other ones. So let's start with this one. Oh, something that had just happened here that you might not have noticed. Um, let's put back, let's reset this. this uh, so you can reset a plot. You need to be in construction mode and you can reset to what it was when you opened the drawing board. So now if you can take a look right here on the wall, you see that the walls don't have windows. The walls that are on the buildings next to the one here. Now if I re-demolish it, you'll see that the facades update. Obviously, in reality, this would not happen. We did this because if I put a park there, it will look better to have windows, right? So we didn't want to have blank walls going down everywhere. So that's why we did this. Now, keep. let's keep demolishing it. So this goes, this one goes to, this little park goes, the big building here and the one at the back too. I'm going to keep the park because I know what I want to do here. And if I go to the plot editor here, I'm going to show you what I have in mind for this block. What I want to do is some kind of a path that goes from one side to the other one, a park that would be a break through the block. So I'm going to make all the plots editable so I know exactly what's on there. The light gray is the waste land or the vacant land that we have. The green plot is obviously a park and the hatched plots are buildings, the ones that I want to keep. So I don't want to touch these ones because if I touch them, I destroy what's on them and we don't want this to happen. No. Now what I'm going to do is just start cutting these plots into the path I want to make. So we're right here and then from here, there and then there back into the park and because I want to keep the building to the left I will have to go around it you'll see in a minute what I have in mind for this one okay so now I can merge everything that's going to be one big park together that's another advice if you want to make one park merge the plots it will look much better when when the game generates the park all right so now I have the park I can build it in the middle here all right and let's see we can regenerate you can regenerate as much as you want to until you have the perfect looking park yeah i like this one it's simple enough i like it so now let's take a look at this little path i did um so i'm gonna slice the plots into smaller plots. Why? Because I said that I wanted to keep something that looked like the original block. So I don't want two big buildings. Um, so I'm going to slice this like that directly down. There you go. And I'm going to keep the shape that existed, the trace of the past in a way. This one is small enough. This one is big, but I'm not going to slice it like the other ones, I'm going to slice it like this. I already know what I'm going to do here. And then in the upper part, uh, I can activate the drawing aids, by the way, they're right there. So you see you have angles showing, you have distance, you have parallel and per perpendicular. And this will help you, if need be, to make the best decisions and to be sure of what you're doing. So if I want to make a perpendicular here that looks kind of cool and the other one I'm gonna slice it in two this way there we go now I have something that I like I like the fact that it's several smaller buildings so let's go back to the builder we'll start here here I'm gonna use a Hossman style very traditionally shaped Parisian building it looks kind of cool Let's go around it a little bit. Now this alley is a bit narrow. Uh, it looks like something could be dangerous if you wanted to go through there at night. So I'm going to start again. Let's go back there. I'm going to merge this building with the park and recut a bit wider. And I have to go back to the point, but it's not going to make a, a regular 
rectangle shaped building but it's not a problem you will see let's go back to the builder and, and see what it looks like now if i use the same hosman style it looks it looks better let's put the park in there and see all right now this building is a bit high though so i'm gonna i'm gonna take maybe one floor down yeah I'm trying to keep the same height or almost the same height, especially for traditional looking buildings. Now, next to this one, I'm going to put another Hosman, but maybe this time it's going to be a bit different. So I can use the filters up there. So I can use, for example, the planet filter. So this is PPP, people, planet and profit. To the left is the neutral. Now, if you're not familiar with that, it's not a problem. It's just a different type of architecture. It looks different. It's like families. And um, planet obviously is made more out of wood, has more plants on it. It's like a climate change kind of architecture. And let's see what we have here. Oh, I like the, the roof of this one but it's too high. Let's bring it down. All right. Yeah, that looks cool. Can you see how the two buildings joint right there? I like the way they are together. Maybe I could change the texture of the, of the roof here. So it looks even more planets. <laughs> All right. I like this. Uh, next to this one, I'm going to jump to something very different. So I'm going to use the profit looking Oh, by the way, you have another filter to the left, to the right, I'm sorry, which is the schools, architecture schools. You have classic, modern, and contemporary. So if you're looking for something very specific, you might want to use these filters. But back to uh, the filters I wanted, I'm looking for something that is profit-oriented. That's going to be made out of glass or metal, stuff like that. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. A bit too high, I guess. I want to bring it down. Yeah, I like this. I like the contrast with the other architecture. I like the fact that it looks like some kind of crazy architect built his own house right there. But maybe you don't agree with that. Obviously, you will do whatever you want. But that, I like that. So now, the next plots. I have two, and I'm going to start with the one at the back, and I'm going to make something a bit high, maybe also modern. That's too high. Yeah, I like this one. I like this one because I want to put something in front that will be very traditional, and I think they will look together. They will look good together. So that looks kind of cool, but I might want to go with the really traditional neutral Hosman. Now it's way too high, obviously, so I'm going to bring it. All right, and if I want to see more of the architecture behind, I might want to change this. And yeah, that looks like what I had in mind. I like, I'm happy with this side. So now I'm going to go the other way, all the way to the back. Let's move out a little bit. So what do I want to do here? So maybe what I want to do here is show you something even different. If I press control, I can select several plots at once. And now I can assign the same design to all of them at once, which make things easier, obviously. All right, let's see what I want here. Maybe I want, I want planet also. Yeah, I like this one. I like the I like the rooftop of this one. But see how it looks like one big building because I selected all the plots together, but it's made actually of smaller plots. So now I can start playing with the floors to give some volume to the architecture and really do something that is what I want, the outcome I want. This looks really cool to me. Yeah, I like it. I like it like that. So I'm going to make sure everything is perfect and then I can bring it into the city view. And here you are. You have two very different looking blocks. One with this kind of 
old fashioned farm, like countryside farm right in the middle of Paris. We did that in a few clicks. The other one took us a little more time, maybe a little more thinking, but that's really two ways that you can work in the architect, depending on what you want to do. And I think that's all we have time for for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Join us on our different social networks, especially on Discord. You will find all the information below this video in the comments section. I'm Ellicott with the Nodo Games. You have yourselves a lovely day. Talk to you soon.